So what is your name, your major, and your art? Uh, my name is Robbie Henderson. I'm a music major and my art is gloving. Art is, art is just so crucial to how we define and express the experience that we live in. Uh, my name is Jordan Thomas Jones. Um, my major is art studio with an emphasis on printmaking. You, know, you need those people that are able to change ideas and, and you know create new things and because that may uh, somewhere down the line spark something for someone else they may see um, a poster or they may see a you know piece of art or a photograph or w whatever it is and it may inspire them to do something different it may inspire them you know to change the way that they look at the world um, hi, my name is Cody Fitzgerald. I'm the graphic designer at uh, Sonoma State. Um, I'm also the staff advisor for the Noma Nimbus uh, Art Club on campus. My name is Tomio. I am an anthropology major and a music, uh, world music minor. And uh, my art is in community organizing and agriculture. We're at the uh, Sonoma Student Growers Cooperative's farm and there's seven folks out here that grow vegetables and provide them back to the school. <laughs> Keep that. Hi, I'm Robbie Geis. Um, I'm an art major at Sonoma State University and um, I make designer armor in Photoshop. I got into gloving because I thought it was a, like, a neat looking art form, how people were using finger or lights within a pair of gloves to manipulate like how people like react to things. Um, I got into graphic design uh, when I came here actually. Um, up until this point I've been doing tutorials and more um, focused on, on like digital art painting and, and photo manipulation and all that good stuff. been drawing and, and everything since God since I can remember um, a lot of it it was actually movies and games um, surprise surprise but that's where I take a lot of influence and everything from and I just love looking at sets and looking at and things people built and wondering you know how they created it and how they built it and and so that's kind of what jump started my career as far as getting into art itself I really got into art when I was getting my tattoos and I started at like 14 or 15. And that's when I really like looked at art as in like, oh, you like you can do something with it. Cause everybody looks at art majors like, oh, well, you're gonna be broke forever. Like that's the funny joke around here. Like, oh, I'm an art major, I'm forever gonna be broke. Um, I got into art, I feel like I just, I drew a lot as a kid and my parents never told me no really. Um, they were pretty encouraging so I just I started drawing I was like this is fun and um, I mean I do other stuff but that's just I just was like this is cool and I want to keep doing that so uh, here we are. Farming to me is, is about cultivating a relationship with nature that's positive for both mutually beneficial and it's, it's about engaging in tradition and, uh, you know, putting out a set of practices that, that mean something to both the people who do it and the place that it's being done to. You know, that's what we're all trying to do as artists. We're all trying to take an idea or an emotion or, you know, something or other and let everyone see it. And to me, without being able to do that, then what you have is a lot of people who maybe just are pent up that, that have pent up emotions or have ideas or expressions or you know and they don't know quite how to get it out. So if you lose the ability to share that you know on whatever medium it is you use, then essentially as a society you're not functioning to the highest level you could be. My favorite part about gloving is being able to express myself musically and emotionally. Because art is everywhere. I mean, you want to get a movie if there wasn't an artist behind it. Um, obviously, you want to get photos if there wasn't some type of photographer behind it. Uh, video games nowadays are very popular, so like any app, 
anything that you do, your life is going to be surrounded by art. Um, I disagree with knowing that anybody in the creative field is going to be taking budget cuts whenever a company needs to make some type of cuts, and I do know that. But that's something that, you know, even though I know that, I'm still going to pursue a career in art just because it's like, well, this is what I do, this is how I express myself. And art is important because of that sense, because the, the freedom of expression. We all have a voice, but, you know, not everyone uses it. I personally don't like to talk, but I use art to use my voice. And I really think, you know, coming from where the farm has been and all the folks that are here, uh, we view the process of this as, as the art. And the result is just the, the fruits of the labor. And I think art is just so crucial to that process because it really invokes the creative ways in which we be and, and express that in different ways. So. Um, it's, it's a discipline as much as it's a creative process for us here and it's really been a special experience being able to do something that's both practical and creative. So I think an art is really a, one of the tenets that guides us in that process is that creative and practical pursuit of something that benefits everyone who's part of it. So yeah, I think art is crucial. Art is almost sort of like a creative outlet for people who they have an idea, they have a passion, they have something or other that they want to share with the world. And in one of those ways, you know, the best way to do it is to put it down on canvas, is to put it on paper, um, duct tape, you know, digital, however you want to, however you want to do it, however you want to put it, however you want to say it, whatever medium you use. Um, you know, you need a way to be able to transfer your ideas and your thoughts and your emotions onto something that's physical. I think art is important because it can establish how a society was raised and how like people interpret what things that they or things they look at or things they hear within a given space and time. I think <laughs> I think art is important, um, and I think art is important because. Um, I feel like as humans in the contemporary, I mean in the 21st century, um, where we're able to not so much worry about like, do I have food, have I killed a warthog to eat for dinner or not, you know, and you're able to be creative, I feel like the next step for people is kind of being creative and so, uh, I mean, I think people think of art as sort of a general thing, but I, I kind of think of art as like a, something that, any, any kind of creative act. So like, I don't know, I think, I think that being creative is, is kind of a part of being human, um, which is kind of sappy, but I think it's true. Everything or every time I should say something pops in my head, I wanted to be able to reproduce it um, in a physical format in a way that people could also see it. And it wasn't just a thought anymore, it was a real, you know, thing you could touch. My freshman year, I came to Sonoma State, and you know, during my freshman year, I was just drawing in classes like my regular GE classes, so like my math and English, just because I didn't want to pay attention to my teachers. I think it's should be more socially accepted instead of like being viewed as just for ravers or just for like kids who like dance music, you know? Farming to me kind of looks like what you see here. It's, it's a tradition, it's got a lot of sensitive practices to nature, and it's environmentally and culturally conscious too. So we're trying to contribute something back to the community that uh, supports us.